Residents equipped themselves with raining accessories such as umbrella, raincoat and boots, shower cap and others to prevent being drenched. Some residents said they were caught unaware while others said they were prepared for the rain. Really, I see in Okoro, towards the uh, Asusa area, very flooded. Once it rained like this, you had to wait for like one hour. After one hour before you move. So you dare not pass that place as at now. I never prepared. I went to, I, I am one of the uh, white brigade. I'm just coming for a screening uh, in that area, so the rain just trapped me. And I believe most of our people were trapped by rain. Quite unfortunate. Let the government see what they can do. Even all those people in the flooded area, I think uh, they should just see what they can do about them. No, actually I was just coming from travel, so I didn't know it's raining over here in Benin. I have to enter now, because if we allow you to, if I, if I to stop now, it may be I may just be there, so I should just enter. So I will not be kept around there. I don't, I don't know they are going to be rain, so I just came out. I was out before the rain came, so we have to manage it. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, roads linking some areas were heavily flooded. The popular Tom Line axis of Usilu Lagos Road was flooded as motorists struggled to wade through the flood, which resulted to grid lock. In a recent interview, the State Commissioner for Environment and Sustainability, Barrister Omwa Oni Okpako, said the state government is working out modalities to address the flood in the state. Well, I'm pleased to announce that we've actually awarded that contract. We had um, different um, contractors coming in, but we decided to expand the scope to make sure that we actually get the best person. And this was done in the past two weeks. The, the military people are aware, and I believe the people in the area are aware. Patience. Osaugiwa reporting.